Hey everyone, my name is Lemon, uh, and I am doing a video today, um, just basically to tell you guys about this weird thing that happened to me at work today. Um, anybody who has ever talked to me for any period of time, or if you came here for my Tumblr or Facebook or anything, you, uh, you all know that I deal with, like, anxiety and depression on a regular basis. It just happens. It happens. It doesn't... It's not a big deal. Um, anyway, so at, at work today, um, I was walking... At the hospital that I work at, I was on one of the floors, and I was walking down this hallway, um, and on one side of the hallway, there's all these patient rooms, and at the end of the hallway, there's like this little sitting area that we sit at when there's nothing to do, and uh, waiting for things to do. I suppose. Uh, anyway, and I'm walking down this hallway, and as I'm going down the hallway, I just feel like this depression hit me, and I'm just so sad, uh, just out of nowhere. And I'm just thinking, okay, well, I've had a few good days. It's about time for the, the depression to happen, whatever. All right, it just it looks like it's going to be kind of a sad day, whatever. I don't care. Um, and so I'm going to go sit at the little sitting spot, and, um, I'm sitting there and, you know, waiting for a, a call telling me to go see a patient. And I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, it just feels like somebody took, like, a bucket of ice water and just, like, splashed under my chest. And it's just, I felt immediately just this bone-chilling sadness and... And I was just, I was so heartbroken, just out of nowhere. And I was sitting there, and I was just, I was sitting there, and it felt like, it felt to me like I was accepting my death. Um, like, like I had just died, and I was so upset that I had just died because I had left all my friends and my family, but I was... I was coming to terms with it, uh, like it had just happened and it was like, well, there's no going back. I guess I have to be dead now. Uh, and that was really strange. Let me tell you about, uh, my family. My mom is really, uh, sensitive to energies and spirits and things. Um, so she can sort of sense feelings and, and, and energies. And if something's there, she, it's not like she sees it with her eyes, but she can like see it in her head, if that makes any sense at all. Whereas I just sort of can feel like if there's anything going on, like, like say you, you ever walk into a house or, or, uh, anywhere really, and you just feel something there, but there's, like, nothing. Like, just, like, things a little off. That's kind of what I get. And, um, so, you know, things like this never happened to me, really, at all. And I'm sitting there, and I just, I feel, like I said, I felt just freezing, like my bones were cold, and, like, it was the sadness in my soul. Uh, and I felt like I had just died. And I sat there for a good 20 minutes before it let up at all. And I'm thinking, okay, this is weird. I, I don't know what's going on. The anxiety is really weird today. The depression is acting strange. Whatever, I guess I'll get up and try and work it off. You know, go back to work and do whatever. And uh, so I'm walking back down this hallway and uh, one of the rooms on my list, I was actually going to go into this room. Uh, I had planned that I was going to go sit down for a little while, and then I was going to get back up and go to this room uh, to sign this patient up. And uh, I'm passing by this room, and I look up, and there was this little picture of a leaf floating on water. And at our hospital, uh, whenever that picture is on the patient's door, it means that the patient has expired. And that picture wasn't there whenever I walked by the first time. Um, so, you 
know, I don't know if like, it was really weird. Like, I don't know if this patient like died and, and, uh, and I, you know, being as, I don't want to say as open to like energies and spirits and stuff, but like being able to sort of sense things. And it was like so fresh and it was just all this energy that was just released. And then I was sitting there. And so like it attached to me for a second. I don't know. Um, but it was really freaky and just like, I don't know, like just all that, all that feeling of, of, I don't want to, I just died and I left my family behind and, but this is it. And I have to accept it. Like that's what hit me. And I don't, I don't know. It was just, it was a weird thing that happened. And like, it kind of makes me think like all this, uh, random anxiety and depression that I get like at work. Cause it doesn't, it's, I've worked a lot of different places and it's never just hit me at work. Like it does at this hospital. And, um, and this is the first hospital I've ever worked in, uh, where people are sick or, or sad or whatever all the time. Um, and so like, I don't know if it's just like all the, the, the weird energies in a hospital environment. I, I don't know. But, um, if anyone has any, like, I don't want to say suggestions, but if anyone has any like weird experiences like that in hospitals or, or anything weird like that at work that they deal with. Um, I don't know, maybe a weird feeling you get at somebody's house. I, I don't know. I'm curious, uh, what other people think about this because it was a really unique experience for me. I've never felt that sort of level of just out of the blue, uh, empathy, I suppose. I wouldn't say empathy. I don't know. I'm pretty empathetic. I don't know. But, um, if you have any stories, go ahead and tell me. I'm curious. I want to see what other people are doing and thinking and saying and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this has been my day at work today. Uh, after, no, after that, I, uh, I went back to the office because it was just so weird to me. And I sat there for a little while and I was texting one of my friends and, uh, none of that really matters. Hmm. But anyway, if, uh, yeah, you guys just go ahead. Let me know what you think. Tell me if you have any weird experiences and stuff like that. Um, I am going to go inside and burn a bunch of sage. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Later.